Yellowstone volcano. How a geyser gone bad caused a hydrothermal explosion. Yellowstone volcano researchers witnessed geysers gone bad as they explored the national park, USGS scientists said during a public lecture. Yellowstone volcano, which last erupted 630,000 years ago, is located within Yellowstone National Park. It is of great concern to the United States Geological Survey, USGS, because it is a supervolcano and has the potential to cause major destruction in the U.S. Jacob Lowenstein, the leading scientist in charge of monitoring Yellowstone, reveals how one group got more than they bargained for during exploration. Speaking at a public lecture in 2014, Lowenstein said, Philidus Norris was the second superintendent at Yellowstone and he was fortunate to witness a hydrothermal explosion. It was a geyser gone bad rocks were thrown into the air and he has a great quote about the experience. Hydrothermal explosions occur when superheated water trapped beneath the Earth's surface rapidly changes from liquid to vapor. Lowenstein continued, he said, the pool was enlarged, its boundaries completely washed out of moving rocks. Enough had been thrown or forced back to form a knee-to-chest high ridge at a distance of 20 to 50 feet from the edge of the yawning cliff. A very alliterative quote, but it basically describes a hydrothermal explosion. Norris, who later named the geyser after him, was a key figure in the founding of Yellowstone National Park. By the time he left in 1882, there were five times as many roads and twice as many footpaths. While superintendent, he published many reports on mountain peaks and basins. However, he wasn't the only explorer to witness firsthand the power of Yellowstone. In 1871, Ferdinand van der Veer Hayden led a team of 50 geologists in the first exploration of the Yellowstone volcano. Lowenstein revealed in the same lecture how the team gathered information about the supervolcano. He said in 2014, Ferdinand Hayden was one of the people who ran the expedition through Yellowstone. It was this group that eventually started the U.S. Geological Survey about 10 years later. Hayden brought with him William Henry Jackson, a photographer, and Thomas Moran a painter. They collected samples, documented what they saw, and did so through photography and painting. They were sent back to Washington and were instrumental in getting Congress to designate Yellowstone as a national park. Mr. Lowenstein also revealed how Mr. Hayden realized it was a volcanic area. He added, he recognized it was a volcanic area and he knew that the area had not been geologically active for long. He stated it was a bit older than it actually was and he also realized that the hot springs and water were related to a volcanic system. He and his colleagues camped on the north side of Yellowstone Lake and they experienced another extraordinary thing that we know about Yellowstone. There were a lot of earthquakes. They experienced what we would now call an earthquake swarm, where they were awakened in the middle of the night by a series of shocks that shook the trees.